Hello, I'm going to do a flip through of my treasured bits journal. I've been posting pictures of this on Instagram, so some of you might have seen some of those photos. Each of the pages has sort of a sewing theme with treasured little bits of old fabrics and antique buttons like these china stencil buttons here. There's stitching on a lot of the pages. They all have beaded charms like this one with a antique button on the end. Antique inkwell buttons and a stencil button. I love this collage that has bits of old quilting fabric. You can see that this part of the fabric was exposed to lots and lots of time while this little bit of the fabric was underneath a seam and you get this beautiful pattern in some of these fabrics where you can compare the old and the new. I just love the tattered edges of all that, all those little pieces. More beaded charms with a button on the end. This has a pocket with some little inserts, more beaded charms, another pocket with some tags inserted. Oops. These pages are just collage, beautiful old pieces of lace, lots of antique buttons. This is one of my favorite pages because I love these sort of mattery browns and they go so beautifully with this um, sepia ink with these stamp tags. Beautiful old little bits of fabric. Nice beaded charm. Stamp tag. Little lace sample tag pinned tag with some antique tatting. More tags. This one again has some of my favorite mattery browns with homespun blues and stencil and inkwell buttons. Piece of handmade lace. Many of the textiles in this book, like these homespuns and these laces, a lot of them came from Claudia, my very favorite Etsy sellers who makes really beautiful fabric buttons. And then this is the last page. This is a page that I featured as a process video on YouTube. A couple of tags, little thread sample. And a little tag here and that's it that's the last page thanks so much for taking a look